Hi, it's Linda Pierce, Norwex Independent Sales Consultant. Today I'm going to show you the most coveted item in the Norwex range. It's the Norwex Mop System. After 10 years of being with Norwex and demonstrating the blue-green mop at my parties, I'm now able to show this beautiful Nordic Naturals color, which is just lovely. In fact, some people say that it has made mopping sexy. I'm not sure about that, but hey, if that's what they want to think, then all power to them. So there are a few different fibers, if you've never seen our mop system before, that you can use depending on the floor you're cleaning uh, and whether you want a dry mop or wet mop. So I'm gonna go through all those options with you right now. Now the first thing to know when you're using the Norwex mop is that the mop handle can be adjusted to suit your height. That's a good thing because I'm pretty short and this mop handle's looking pretty short right now. For a short person, being able to adjust the mop handle to suit your height means that you won't be knocking things off shelves or knocking the wall behind you as you, as you mop. For a tall person mopping, they love that they don't have to hunch over the mop and get a bad back in the process. So adjusting this to between nose and chin height for me, then depending on um, what I'm using my mop for, I would either have the locking mechanism unlocked if I am using it to um, clean floors, or I would lock it if I wanna have greater control over the mop head and have it only swivel back and forth this way uh, if I'm cleaning walls or ceilings or the kickbacks underneath my kitchen benches. So I'll unlock it now. And this particular dry mop fiber is particularly good if you have pets that live in your home and you have a lot of pet hair on your floor. The chenille fiber has a lot of surface area for picking up and holding onto dust, hair and fluff. If you don't have pets, then you may prefer to use our dry mop superior mop pad. This one here will also pick up pet hair, just perhaps not the same quantity of pet hair as the chenille pad will. And it, this will also pick up bacteria off your floor even if you're using it dry. So the idea of both of these fibers, and uh, in fact, the uh, this superior mop pad also comes in the Nordic Naturals um, mop system. So this is it here. And uh, both all of these mop fibers will uh, allow you to get rid of your broom. The best thing about using them uh, as opposed to using your broom is that they're going to pick up all of the dust, hair and fluff off your floor without flicking it into the air and relocating it to somewhere else in your home or um, you know, putting you in a situation where you're inhaling dust, which isn't so great for your health, especially if you have asthma. <laughs> so whenever you're using our mops to either wet mop or sweep your floor, you always wanna be starting by doing the edges of your walls or your kitchen benches. That fiber is gonna get right into the right angle there uh, and pick up all of the uh, all of the, the dust, hair and debris. Then um, you would come up the center of the area and just using a figure eight action, go back and forth while walking backwards so that you're uh, not walking backwards onto your clean floor. Now, once you've used your fiber for a while and you have a look at it and you think, oh wow, that's pretty grubby. Now, mine's not, mine's not grubby at all. I don't know, the floor must have been clean recently. But usually your fiber would be covered with, um, with debris. You would just take it to the bin and just using your rubber brush, brush half off at a time, one half there, flick it, the other half, like so, uh, and then you can continue to sweep with the fiber. If you use your rubber brush and go from the top and go all the way down, what we find is that uh, particles from this end of the mop will end up on your floor and that's not ideal. And of course you can brush your fiber off over the garden as well. These fibers have so much grab power that if you take them off and shake them outside, 
Not a lot's gonna come off because uh, they, they do hold on to the dirt so well. Um, the little bits that come off will end up probably on you and that's why I do recommend the rubber brush with the mop fibers. You can also use the rubber brush if you find yourself needing to rinse off your wet mop fiber uh, during your mop, say for example, you've got young children and there's a lot of food particles on the floor and you look at your fiber and you're like, okay, I need to rinse this thing off. Then you just take it off and over the laundry, you know, in your laundry tub, just run it underwater and use your brush just to brush that debris off. Then wring the fiber out and you can continue on. So the rubber brush is very handy on other surfaces as well. Um, doormats, rugs, upholstery in your car. I love to use it on um, my car carpet. So I've got vacuum cleaner nozzle in one hand um, and I'm using my rubber brush in the other. So I'm getting all those little bits of hair that just seems to stick in car carpet. I, I don't know if you've experienced that, but it's I'm like, is this car carpet made from Velcro or what? So this is amazing for that. So once you have swept your floor and you're ready for wet mopping, now you may have vacuumed before you've used your wet mop fiber, that's okay too. I still do use my vacuum cleaner. I find that the dry mop fibers are really great for those in-between vacuuming um, jobs. You know, when it might've been that you just vacuumed yesterday and then all this stuff gets traipsed into the house and you just need to do a bit of a, uh, quick run over the floor, the dry mop fibers are ideal for that. Uh, but also, I've had a few people that have children with uh, sensitivities to dust mite and they're really particular about cleaning up as much dust in their home as they can. And they have reported to me that even after using the best vacuum cleaner on the market, that they can run over their floor with a Norwex Superior dry mop pad and it will pick up dust that their vacuum cleaner left behind. So they really do have a lot of cleaning power. So it may be that you decide to vacuum, then dry mop and then wet mop. So the good news is that when you're using a Norwex mop, cleaning your floor is really, really quick. So although it sounds like there's a lot of steps to that process, it really will take you hardly any time at all. In fact, Customers of mine have reported that they can mop their floor in 30% of the time they could with a mop and bucket system with much less effort because they're not, when they're mopping, they're not having to go back and forward like this and hurting their back. They're actually able to stand up straight and use that figure eight action, which puts absolutely no strain on the back at all. The other thing that they love is just how lightweight this mop is. Uh, much easier to maneuver and move around your home than dragging a steam mop. You, uh, of course, with this, don't need to worry about a cord, don't need to worry about filling up a tank of water, don't need to worry about having a uh, bucket of water. Um, you've also got the benefit of using our fiber which picks up dirt and holds onto it in the fiber so as you're mopping you're not spreading dirty water around so that's really great as well so let's just have a little look at the wet mop fiber options so to remove my dry fiber i'm just going to stand either side of the mop base like this and i'm going to remove it like so now this is a high uh, quality Velcro Norwex use on their mop bases. And um, mine has got a little bit of fluff and bits of piece and pieces stuck in there, which has come from people using the mop and then just putting it the base straight down on the floor. And so the Velcro has attracted the little bits of fluff. So try to, when you're storing it um, without the mop fiber on it, store it upside down like this so that you don't have that issue. If you ever find that it gets really full of particles, then I've just gotten a sewing needle or a skewer out and I've just levered some of those little bits out and it improves the grab power of the Velcro dramatically. So I have got now my 
Tile Mop Pad. This is the best fiber for floors that have texture. So we're talking a matte tile, a tile with texture, slate, laminate, lino. And then you would want to use one of our wet mop fibers for a floor with no texture. So a timber, cork, or a high gloss tile. We find that the tile mop pad, it holds a lot of water and it can tend to leave streaks on a high gloss floor. I will give you some uh, more high gloss floor tips in just a moment. First, let's look at how to use this. So I've wet the fiber under the tap and then I've just folded it and I've wrung it out. So it's not dripping with water, it's just damp. And using it this way will mean that my floor will dry very quickly, but also with all of our microfiber, the more wrung out it is, the more grabby it is. So if you have a lot of water in there, you're gonna find it has less cleaning power. So this is a really important thing to remember. So I just throw my mop pad on the floor like that and attach my mop base like so. Now, if I wanted to do my kickbacks first while my mop pad is still relatively clean, then I would lock that mechanism there. And then with my foot, just prop the mop fiber and base against the kickback. And I can just move along there like that. You can see how easy that is. And it's really uh, fantastic to be able to clean that area, which usually you'd have to get down on your hands and knees to do. Then for mopping your floor, it's the same process as when we use the uh, the dry mop fiber. We want to do the edges first, then uh, come up and go up the middle of the area like that. So uh, you can just see how quick it is, how easy it is, um, and of course the benefit of using the Norwex mop that possibly outweighs all the other benefits is that you're using the fiber just with water. So you're using no toxic chemicals. There's no residues left behind on your floor. Your floor is going to stay cleaner longer. It's going to look cleaner and it's going to feel cleaner too. So no more walking through your house with you feel like your uh, feet are kind of attached to the floor as you walk along, which is totally awesome. As your fiber starts to dry out, it will start slicking. All you need to do at that point is to add a little bit of extra water. You can use your Noex spray bottle just to mist the fiber. You can mist the floor, or you can be like a customer of mine who stood at a kitchen sink, turned the tap on, and just flicked a bit of water out onto her floor that way. You don't wanna be doing that with a high gloss floor though, or you could find that you end up with streaks. The other great thing about this mop that you won't get with other mops is that you can get the front half of it underneath lots of things with a low profile. So underneath the front of your fridge, underneath your TV entertainment unit, maybe the chest of drawers in your bedroom. So fantastic that it has such a low profile and will squeeze into those hard to reach places. My tips for cleaning high gloss floors. The good news is, is that if you've had issues with streaking and watermarks, then they can be a thing of the past with the Norwex mop. When I was brand new to Norwex, I did, one of my, at one of my first parties, one of my school mum friends said to me, Linda, do you think that mop is gonna work on my high gloss floor? Everything I've used makes it look streaky. And I said, look, I really don't know. I haven't gotten, I just didn't have the experience to be able to answer the question. So because I had two mops, I let her take one home with her and give it a go. And she called me and she said, Linda, order me one of those mops, but I'm not giving you this one back until you've got my new one. And then we'll do the trade in the school car park. So I'm like, okay, no problem. And she was just so thrilled. So the, the couple of tips is to firstly, buy the right fiber. Secondly, don't use too much water. In some cases, 
Uh, customers find that they're better just to spritz the fiber with water rather than wetting it under the tap so that they really reduce the amount of water that's going onto the floor. The other thing is to not use any oil. And in fact, if you have been using oil on your floor, uh, it may take a couple of times of mopping with the Norwex mop. And I would recommend hot water to remove that oily residue from your floor before you start to get some streak free finishes. The other thing to be mindful of is the product that you're using to wash your fibers in. Some of the laundry powders and liquids on the market can leave residue in your fiber and that residue can end up on your floor and show up as streaks. So just be wary about the product that you're using. Norwex have a couple of great products in their range, the laundry detergent and the liquid laundry that will wash your fibers effectively and economically. Last thing I wanna to mention to you is that you can purchase another product to use as an accessory with the mop, and that's the Norwex Enviro Wand. So it's a great product on its own, but it can be used uh, attached to the mop pole so that you can clean hard to reach areas. And I do have a video on cleaning hard to reach places here on my YouTube channel. So check that out if you would like more information. So I hope this video has been helpful to you, that it's um, excited you about the idea of mopping your floor. Okay, I might be going a little bit far there, but people do get excited about mopping with a Norwex mop compared to mopping with their mop and bucket system or their steam mop. In fact, 10 years ago when I had my Norwex party, the mop was on special the month of my party and a number of my friends purchased it and they're like, Linda, when's our mop coming? We're not mopping the floor until we get our new mops, which I'm like, wow, this is really bizarre. And that was actually what prompted me to think maybe I should become a consultant. They're so excited about cleaning. This is like bizarre. <laughs> But, um, but yeah, it really will make a difference uh, in your life. So if you'd like to know more about the Norwex Mop System or about any of the other products in our range, or you'd like some specific advice about how to get the best result with the mop on your floor, please contact me via my website, lindapierce.com.au or contact your Norwex Independent Sales Consultant.